The last blog post I published on my website, yespanisten.com, indexed in an hour, and the one before that indexed in 10 minutes. So if you're struggling getting your blog post indexed fast, then this video is for you. The Twitter Moments Alternative blog post indexed in 10 minutes, and uh, it went directly to number one, and it still is number one. And the Wakelet Collection video or blog post indexed in an hour, and it's currently number two after my own Medium blog about the same subject. So, my name is Jesper Nissen, and I'm going to show you how to index your blog post fast. If you like what you watch, then please comment on this video, how to index blog posts fast. It will help me and the algorithm. I made a seven step process for you that I'm going to talk about in this video. And the seven steps that you need to take in order to index your blog post is first, you need to add your site to Google Search Console. And I'm going to add this description or this step-by-step -step process in the description below in the YouTube video. So add your site to Google Search Console, add your sitemap to Google Search Console, add your website to Google News. I'm going to show you what that is. Upload your video, but don't publish it. Create the blog post and embed the video. Publish the blog post first and then in the end publish the video. And I'm going to walk you through, it's, it's not going to take long, I'm going to walk you through how to do all of this. So let's get started. Add your site to Google Search Console. So let's see here, where are we? Doot, doot. Here is Google Search Console. Let me just minimize myself a little bit. Is that not possible? That's not possible. Okay. Anyway, I'm in Google Search Console now and I'm looking at my website, yespanesen.com here. So this is what it looks like. And in order to add your, Google, your site to Google, Search, to Google Search Console, you click on this button and add your site. I'm not going to show you that. You need to add your sitemap also. Uh, so that the website will be crawled relatively fast. And then you need to add it to Google News. And you can see here that I have the search results here, but I also have the Google News. And this is probably a new thing for most of you that you have this menu item over here. And this is because I added my website to Google News. And um, it's not that it's getting many clicks and much traffic, uh, but it helps with indexing. So what you need to do is you need to go to publishercenter.google.com. So publish, publishercenter.google.com. And it will look like this. And you need to be logged in, of course, with a, uh, a Gmail account, right? And you can see here that I have my Yespanesen SEO website added to Google News. And let's just uh, open so you can see what that looks like. So it looks like this. You can see here that uh, this is a preview of what it looks like in news.google.com, I think it's called. So I added my uh, feed. My feed looks like this, yespanesen.com slash feeds. And um, because I did that, the moment that I add a, an article or blog post to my website, then the moment that it's published, it's pushed out within very few seconds. I don't know how few, how long time it takes, but it, it's a few seconds. And then it's pushed out to Google News and Google goes to fetch this article. And then it's, it's, it has the possibility of being published and pushed out to the Google News Network. Obviously, how to create a wakelet collection is not some, it's not a newsworthy subject, but it is a new blog post and it is, it does support indexing. Although that's not why my blog post index so fast. And I'm going to show you why they do that, but this helps. So that's the uh, first three steps. Go to Google Search Console, add your site, add your sitemap and add your site to Google News. The next thing is you need to upload the video. So, um, you need to have a Google News, uh, sorry, you need to have a YouTube channel in order for this to work. I And uh, some YouTube channel that you have access to where you can actually upload videos. And I'm going to explain, I'm going to explain to you now why that is. So if I click create here, I'm in the back end of my Yespanesen YouTube channel. So I click create, I click upload videos here and I select my files and I have made a small video of myself saying testing one, two, three. 
I click open. So, <clears throat> so now I have the video in the back end, it's actually in the machine of YouTube. Even though I did not publish the video, it is in the machine of YouTube. So now that's, that's the first step. So the next step is I go to my blog and I go to my uh, back end here, Dude, dashboard, and I click uh, add new blog post. Let's say I'm making a blog post called testing123. This is a fantastic blog post about testing123. And what I do now is I click this plus icon, I click YouTube, and I go back to uh, YouTube, where are you? So uh, I, I, Uploaded the video, but I didn't publish it yet, but I can still click this copy by video link Dude, and I can go here and I can actually see my video In a preview window Although of course, it's it's still private because I didn't publish it yet. So I can click share here. I can click click copy Dude. I can go back. I can click embeds It will probably not work uh, because uh, I mean, it's not, it's still private. So what I do now is I, let's see here, I save draft. So the draft is uh, now saved. And what I do now is I copy this URL here. Let's just click on this. And let's go back here. Actually, what I need to do is I need to copy link address and I will now go over to my YouTube video and I will add, uh, that's not how it looks. Let's see here, testing one, two, three. That's the URL. I'm going to have to add the specific URL here, here in the description. This is a video about testing one, two, three. So I need the outgoing link to my blog posts. I can now add it to any playlist that I have, search engine, parasite or whatever, let's call it search engine optimization. So this is a super relevant SEO video called testing one, two, three. I click next, I click next, next. And then I click public and I publish. I'm not going to publish the testing one, two, three video on my channel because that would be crazy. But I'm not going to publish it. Let, let's say, let's just play that it's a, a real video, a real life video. So what I actually will do now, I have created the blog post and I have embedded the video and I'll not publish the blog post. And I can actually show you that. So publish, I ready to publish. Yes, I think I'll just delete it afterwards. So now my blog post is published. This is a fantastic blog post, blah, 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 blah. And what I will do now is I will now publish my video. And the second that's it, that this video or within 30 seconds, something like that, 30 seconds or within one minute after that, it, this is published because of the outgoing link in the description, my blog post will be crawled. So publish blog post, publish video, go back to uh, refresh and make sure that uh, the embed is working. Otherwise you need to go back to, to actually check the, or, you know, fix the embed of the video. And I mean, once I click publish, everything is set automatically in motion. So there's a two way interaction here between the link and the outgoing link in the description of the YouTube video and the video embed in the blog post itself. So these two, they talk back and forth. And the result is that if you follow this process, your blog post will rank super duper fast. The fastest I've seen is 10 minutes, but it can also be up to one hour. And uh, it's it's just it's uh, it's just super super fast and of course uh, does, does it have an effect on rankings? 
I have no idea. Um, what's I mean? What's most important for rankings is, of course, that your content on the on the blog post is relevant to the search queries that you want to rank for. So, how to create a weekly collection in 2023 is, of course, obviously super long tail keyword. The same thing with Twitter Moments alternative. Um, competition is low, so that helps. But when it comes to the indexing and you know the displaying in the Google search, this is the fastest way that I know of. I don't send backlinks to my blog post. I do not go into to Google Search Console to manually request indexing. I do not use the Google indexing API. I only add an outgoing link in the YouTube description of the video that is accompanying accompanying the blog post. Yeah, I'm Danish, so I have trouble with some English words, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I hope that you got something out of it. And if you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. And uh, besides that, I this was this has been the words for me today. So I wish you all a very good Friday.